monkey monkey. Welcome to my house of love! Now, I'm a guy who loves superheroes. Big, bright, four-colour guardians of truth, justice, and all that good stuff. But superheroes beget supervillains. And though the miracle of narrative causality ultimately delivers victory for the side of the angels, there's still the little matter of what to do with these supervillains once they've actually been defeated. And of course, the sizeable task of rehabilitating these poor lost souls. One solution to this problem is explored in today's subject, Suicide Squad. <laughs> Released in 2016, Suicide Squad collects various supervillains from across the DC Universe into a Black Ops team for missions too dangerous or sensitive for regular troops. But this time, the mission is a little too close to home for one of the team. Suicide Squad is the third movie in the DC Extended Universe project, but was critically panned at the time of release. So hold on to your lanyards and try not to get too close to the bars as we ride along on the first explosive mission for the Suicide Squad. Superman is dead and the world needs protection. Which is where Amanda the Wall Waller comes in. She proposes a team, a superpowered dirty dozen, in case the next Superman isn't as friendly. And after a little demonstration, the team is authorised. But there's a Joker in this pack. And he left Harley to take the fall while he escaped. <laughs> She's too good for him. But then he is trying to free her, so maybe not. The plot really kicks in when the Enchantress slips the leash and releases her brother. Our protagonists are extracted and assembled. But the entry into Midway City doesn't go entirely to plan. Nah, they make it, they make it, they make it. Wouldn't be much of a movie if they didn't. Plus, of course, these are all big-name DC characters. They've got plot armour for days. But yeah, after this crash, it's a long walk to the objective. But Captain Boomerang doesn't believe in nanites. Which leads to a demonstration on Slipknot. Yeah, Slipknot. The man who can climb anything. With grapples and stuff. Well, I'd never heard of him. I don't know if anybody who saw this movie had. But yes, yeah, somebody had to die, to show that they weren't kidding. So it might as well be Slipknot, whose power isn't that spectacular. And so, the first wave of mooks is encountered. After clearing out the first wave, the remaining squad hit the objective. But a frontal assault proves not to be the best plan, as the missing Bravo squadron form the second wave. You die, we die. 
A little pep talk from Deadshot spurs Diablo into action. Which leads to another House of Love top tip. Don't antagonise pyrokinetics. Unless you're carrying Factor 2 million sunblock. But even then, it's kind of a jerk move. And so we reach... Walla? Who was running the entire operation from inside the city. But again, there's always a Joker in the pack. And he's Harley's ride. But Walla doesn't play cards. And then... Walla's ride is jacked. And who knew that witches had hearts? But Harley survives. And the truth doesn't win friends. Okay, so... This is all kind of told to the audience in the first 40 minutes. The uh, ADHD kind of intro bit. But this is where the characters actually find out. Walla assigned Flag to look after June Moon, who had been possessed by the Enchantress, and as she had hoped, love reared its ugly head. But even under Flag's watchful gaze, the Enchantress found a way to slip the leash, so to speak, and share the power of her brother, so that she didn't really need her heart that much, until she was reunited with it, so that no one would ever control her again. This dream doesn't actually come true so quickly, but we'll get to that. But after a few drinks, Flag offers Deadshot his carrot, and the mission is back on. And it's a surprisingly easy journey to the final boss, who tries to tempt our protagonists with their heart's desires. But Diablo's having none of it. Can't change what I did. And neither can you! and assumes his final form for an epic fight. Which we're skipping because YouTube. Still, one more reason to go and check this movie out for yourself, eh? But there's still a witch to deal with. And Harley plays possum. Just long enough to extract the Enchantress's heart. Which Flag destroys to free his love. And so... While the Suicide Squad end up going back to the hole they came from, their efforts are not completely without reward. But there's always a Joker in the pack. And the moral of this story is twofold. Firstly, that there are forces that man cannot control. And secondly, that a good deed is its own punishment. Anyway, that was Suicide Squad. And actually, I'm going to put this one into my house of love. In talking about this movie, we really should mention Guardians of the Galaxy. The difference between Suicide Squad and Guardians of the Galaxy was that Guardians was a romp about lovable rogues who overcomes semi-impossible odds to save the galaxy. Suicide Squad's fate is only the Earth, and one could argue that the heroes aren't even that lovable. A contract killer? A boomerang wielding thief? A trained psychiatrist and high school gymnast who fell in with the Joker himself? And yet, in my opinion, it makes for something that's at least watchable. But let's get to the performances. Will Smith shows his range and has a commanding presence as Deadshot. And Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn is the first live action Harley we've actually seen. And at times, the psychiatrist Harleen Quinzel shines through. Viola Davis plays a subdued Amanda Waller, whose necessary menace and grit seems only to come from people's reaction to her. And while Joel Kinnaman is rather skinny looking for a military man, his Rick flag is at least determined and single-minded, if a little one note. Of the rest, Cara Delevingne's Enchantress is a classic ham villainess, all skimpy costume and portentous dialogue. And perhaps the most emotive performance in the entire movie is Jared Leto's Joker, Though he's not nearly as theatrical as Mark Hamill's legendary vocal performance from the Batman animated show of the 90s. And I can understand anyone who thought that Jay Hernandez's Diablo was far too morose. But let's not forget, Diablo blew his chance at happiness, because he couldn't get out of the game, or control his temper. The flow of the movie starts out very music video originitis ADHD, jumping around to introduce so many characters so quickly. 
But after about the first 40 minutes or so, once the plot kicks in, things calm down and we have an old-fashioned military mission gone wrong story, albeit with somewhat of a magical twist. And yes, it's not much of a story, and it does get disrupted time and again for character moments that aren't much more than nerd porn, and the Joker subplot is entirely undernourished. So why do I like this movie? Because, strange as it may sound, I find it to be fun. It does seem comparatively lighter than what came before it, and most of the characters are at least likeable. Well, for contract killers, and outcasts with physical deformities and mental health issues. And I'll admit that I always love the scrappier movies, where what passes for the protagonists don't shy away from danger, or a fight. And I can't say that it's a story about lovable rogues, because the Suicide Squad are all damaged in one form or another. But it's sympathetic to them, somewhat. And I love the effects work, which looks great in HD. Even with all of this, maybe they are right. Maybe this movie is trash. But even if it is, it's my kind of trash. The outcasts and screw-ups that saved the world. And all they got in return was an espresso machine. So yeah, I like this movie. It's a brainless action movie in the DC universe with enough nods to keep fans happy. And that's enough for me. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, why not consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell? And if you want to be my hero, you could sling me a few quid through my crowdfunding links in the description below. But for now, I've been Funky Monkey, wishing you good days and great entertainment. So long, folks.